Hello everyone. Let's learn Malay by just watching. Today we are going to chapter 22. I'm going to explain about class 5 verbs. Me, kan. Chapter 22 or bab 22. Class 5 verbs. Prefix me and suffix kan. These verbs are formed from certain class 1 verbs and from other parts of speech such as nouns, adjective or adverbs. They are entirely transitive. They need object after this prefix and suffix. For example, tinggal to live, meninggalkan to live. Mandi to bathe, memandikan to bathe someone. Sampai to arrive, menyampaikan to convey the message. Keluar to go out or to exit, mengeluarkan to take out or to withdraw. Duduk to sit, mendudukkan to make someone sit. Masuk, enter, memasukkan, insert or to deposit or to make something go in. Naik, go up, menaikkan, to raise. Turun, go down, menurunkan, to lower. It's causative. It means cause something. It change something if you add this prefix and suffix. Me and kan. Examples of verbs which are formed from nouns. Jalan, road. Menjalankan, to operate, to undertake, to carry out or to run something. Cermin, mirror, mencerminkan, to reflect. Payung, umbrella, memayungkan, to hold an umbrella over somebody. Gambar, picture or photo, menggambarkan, to portray. Buku, book, membukukan, to form into a book. Api, fire. Mengapikan, to incite or to ignite. Pengerusi, chairman. Mempengerusikan, to chair, the meeting. Susu, milk. Menyusukan, to feed with milk. Examples of verb which are formed from adjective. Panjang, long. Memanjangkan, to lengthen, forward. Pendek, short. Memendekkan, to shorten. Bersih, clean. Membersihkan, to clean. Hitam, black. Menghitamkan, to blacken. Terang, bright. Menerangkan, to brighten or to enlighten. Gemuk, fat, menggemukkan, to fatten. Lurus, straight, meluruskan, to straighten. Besar, large, membesarkan, to enlarge. Jauh, far, menjauhkan, to avoid or to keep away. Examples of verbs which are formed from adverbs. Segera. Immediately. Segera also means instant. Menyegerakan, to expedite. Lambat, late or slow. Melambatkan, to delay. Dahulu, before or earlier. Mendahulukan, to put before. Sudah, already. Menyudah. To complete or to finish or menyudahkan. Kemudian, later. Mengemudiankan, to put later. Examples in sentences. Dia meninggalkan anak-anaknya di rumah. He or she leaves his or her children at home. Ketua murid sedang menaikkan bendera kebangsaan. 
the head student is raising the national flag. Encik Ramli mempengerusikan mesyuarat itu semalam. Mr. Ramli chair the meeting yesterday. Zaitun membersihkan rumahnya tiap-tiap hari or setiap hari. Zaitun cleans her house every day. Saya hendak membesarkan gambar ini. I want to enlarge this picture or this photograph. Dia menerangkan mengapa dia gagal. He explained why he failed. Mereka sengaja melambatkan kerja itu. They purposely delay the work. If two or more class 5 verbs are used successively, only the last verb takes the suffix kan. For example, Puan Salma menjerang air sebelum memandi dan menyusukan anaknya. So the last verb only can put kan. And before, no need kan, just prefix me. But the last must put kan. Puan Salma or Madam Salma boils water before she bathes and breastfeed her child. Pekerja-pekerja JKR sedang melebar dan memanjangkan jalan itu. JKR workers are widening and lengthening the road. Words to remember. Barang-barang, goods. Lembaga, board. Berita, news. Buayan, cradle. Cerpen, short story. Harga, price. Harta, property. Jururawat, nurse. Kuman, germ. Sawah, rice field. Rancangan, project or plan. Bag, bag. Bendera, flag. Mesyuarat, meeting. Nyamuk, mosquito. Pekedai, shopkeeper. Penduduk, resident. Pengerusi, chairman. Keputusan, Decision or resolution. Kerajaan, government. Sungutan, complain. Gagal, fail. Penting, important. Sihat, healthy or in good health. Tentang, about. Mengenai, regarding, concerning or about. Perbualan, conversation. S means soalan, question. J is jawapan, answer. Siapa mempengerusikan mesyuarat itu semalam? Who chair the meeting yesterday? Encik Musa, sebab Encik Manaf tidak sihat. Mr. Musa, because Mr. Manaf not well. Apakah antara keputusan-keputusan mesyuarat itu? What are among the decision of that meeting? Antara keputusan-keputusannya ialah persatuan hendak meminta kerajaan membesar dan meluruskan jalan ke sekolah itu. Among the decisions are the organisation want to request the government to enlarge and to straighten the road to the school. Bagaimana tentang sungutan penduduk mengenai nyamuk yang banyak itu? How about the complaint from the resident regarding the mosquito that many or that much? Tuan Pengerusi menyatakan the chairman, Tuan means Sir. Or to 
address someone who high position than you. Tuan Pengerusi, the chairman menyatakan stated. The chairman stated, Tuan Pengerusi menyatakan, persatuan akan mengambil langkah untuk menghapuskan nyamuk dan menjauhkan penyakit. The chairman state that the organization will take initiative to eradicate or to eliminate the mosquitoes and to keep away the disease. Eloklah tu. Tetapi dapatkah lembaga menjalankan rancangan-rancangan itu? That's good or that's great. But would the board able to carry out those plans? Kita harap dapat. We hope so. Tetapi lembaga akan mendahulukan rancangan yang lebih penting dan mengemudiankan yang kurang penting. But the board will put before, put first the the plan that more important and put after the plan that less important. Exercise, latihan. Jururawat. Jururawat mendudukkan orang tua itu di atas kerusi. Jururawat means nurse. The nurse sit that old man on the chair. That means the nurse make that old man sit on the chair. Komuter meninggalkan stesen Kuala Lumpur pada pukul 9. The commuter left Kuala Lumpur station on 9 o'clock. Hayati menidurkan anaknya di atas katil. Hayati makes her her son or her child sleep on the bed. Saya hendak menyampaikan berita kepadanya. I want to convey a news to him or to her. Pokok getah itu mengeluarkan susu getah yang banyak. The rubber tree produce many or much milk or rubber milk. Cik Laila memandikan kucingnya dengan menggunakan sabun. Miss Laila bathe her cat by using soap. Kuman mendatangkan penyakit. Germs makes the disease come. Ada pekedai-pekedai menaikkan harga barang-barangnya. They are shopkeepers who raise their goods price. Pesawah itu memasukkan air ke sawahnya. That farmer insert or enter the water in his field. Pasukan yang kalah telah menurunkan benderanya. The team that has lost has slowed down or put down their flag. Another exercise, latihan, number one. Computer simplifies our work. Computer memudahkan kerja kita. Number two, the scouts are not allowed to use the tent. Pengakap-pengakap tidak dibenarkan menggunakan kemah itu. Three, Sharifah wants to return the novel to the teacher. Sharifah hendak memulangkan novel itu kepada guru. For, my mother puts my younger sister to sleep in a cradle. Emak saya menidurkan adik saya di dalam buayan. Five, the old man left behind a lot of property. Orang tua itu 
meninggalkan banyak harta. Six, shopkeepers raise the price of their goods. Pekedai-pekedai menaikkan harga barang-barang or harga barang-barang mereka. Seven, she wants to convey this news to him. Dia hendak menyampaikan berita ini kepadanya. Eight, Ismail brings down the signboard at that shop. Ismail menurunkan papan tanda di kedai itu. Nine, I'll buy food for you. Saya akan membelikan makanan untuk awak. Ten, his younger brother torn the magazine that was on the table. Adik dia mengoyakkan majalah yang berada di atas meja. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.